What's up, everybody? This is Saber, and today is day five of Raven's speed build challenge, a ship day. And uh, today is the transport ship day. Now, it doesn't, it's not the normal kind of transport ship that you might just think would just carry stuff. Uh, this one is really specific. It carries a transport pod, where, uh, or, or I guess he calls it a planetary lander, um, where basically it has to be kind of like a, uh, a little um, landing module for people to live inside and then be placed on a planet and then left behind. So this is the Baleen, which is a, um, well, it, it's a transport ship, but it's got six cryopods inside of it. And then in the uh, in the belly of it, there is the actual planetary lander. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick fly around here and uh, let you guys get a feel for the outside of it. And I had a lot of fun with this one. Actually, there's a lot of elements that are from the excursion, which was the uh, the shuttle, which is more like a, a space liner that I did a few days ago. Uh, but uh, I really had a lot of fun throwing this thing together because I wanted it to be a fair amount different than the, the than the excursion. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this thing. So let's go ahead and take you guys inside and then show you that. And then I'll show you guys the lander itself. So it's pretty bare inside of here. Um, basically, it's just you know some gravity modules, and then uh, just a hallway that leads up to the cryo chamber. But then this actually leads directly to the pod itself. But we're gonna get to that last, so we're gonna head up here first. And up these stairs is the cryo chamber. So here there are six pods, uh, which would be four of them would be the uh, scientists or colonists or whoever would be going down on the planet and then uh, one for a, a pilot, and then a potential co-pilot, because they'd run it in teams, because uh, it's actually only a one-man crew. So here we got the captain's chair, pretty nice cozy little area. Uh, a little little bear, there's no door here, because it's all pretty open. This is a civilian craft, so it doesn't need any, like, you know, blast doors or anything like that. No weapons. Um, basically, this thing had to be a civilian craft, um, so it's just, it has a bunch of shields but uh, no actual armaments. So let's go ahead and head in the lander here. So here it's basically just like a little living space. Uh, right inside here we got the bathroom, so there'd be like a toilet, sorry, a toilet, and then a uh, corner sink. Then over here we have a little desk with a light, and then four bunk beds, uh, which actually have the, uh, um, the gravity unit in the wall, so that way you can actually hit it and it looks like you're laying down across those, which I'll probably pop down there and give that a give that a shot just to show you guys what it's like. Then over here on the right we got a little kitchen area with a fridge and like a stove top and then some counter space. And then we got a living room. So this would be your view wherever you uh, end up getting planted down on a planet. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the build. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, it's kind of a kind of a simple design as far as how clean it is. It's not like really busy with a bunch of um, excessive detailing and stuff like that. But that's kind of the look that I wanted to go for. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of a style that I've started to develop is just really clean lines. It's not like you know a whole bunch of extra noise kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, have enjoyed all the other builds so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little cinematic for this thing. And uh, if you guys aren't already, be sure to subscribe so that we can see the upcoming builds. Um, I should have two more left after this. And other than that, I think that'll about do it for me. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've been enjoying all of it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the cinematic, but I will see you guys later.